Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins, another video here. I am Tyler, your host, and my controller battery is low, thanks for that. Uh, we are in Memphis, going to do some fun free roam around this city, some side activities, side missions, all that nice jazz. Just trying to level up, gear up, things like that. Because I'm kind of at a standstill point of the game. Well, not really. I'm just kind of pushed through some story missions that were higher level than me, and now I'm just too lower level. I was just kind of getting into the storyline, and now I've got to do some side activities just to level up before I move on and do the next area of the story. Oh, there's a guy there. Sorry, bro. Didn't mean to freak out. I'm not going to kill you yet. So I'm just going to find some side missions to do. Oh, we got some singing going on here. Hey, lady, what's up? Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Hmm. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Oh, this chick. So she, you actually meet this character in the main story. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a trouble. Uh, she loves her psychedelics. My needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. Live long and prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins where we do grocery shopping for Egyptian women. And then hunt down the birds. What we call good guy Bayek, good old Uncle Bayek, just roughhousing a bit. Okay. I didn't expect the grocery shopping to lead me down here. Tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Bayek, I feel like this isn't a shop, mate. Or this is what we call the black market drug dealing. I suspect. This is where you buy narcotics. I don't know about all this. Well, no. Welcome to my humble shop. Okay, this is straight up a drug deal. There's no doubt about it. How surprising. She's freaked out. She's like, oh, the cops are here. Don't take my hallucinogenics. I have not seen your kind in some time, Medjai. We are a rare breed. As a merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. Yeah, this they is drug too. to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me. I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Righto. Just leave a stranger in your shop. Mm. Nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Uh, she is hiding something. Yes. Hey, Bayek. I don't mean to call you naive here, but... It's drugs. An inventory. A talisman in blue fans. I should keep looking around. What a surprise! The backs. The merchant did not want me to see stuff. this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. <clears throat> oh, so you're just gonna take that bike and not pay for it? Righto, okay, I guess so. Oh shit. Oh, yep, this is black market if I've ever seen it. Oh, 
God, and fucking Felix, Felax, Flylax, I don't fucking know how to pronounce them. They're fucking nearby. Great. This is gonna go well. So we need uh, Heron Feathers and Flamingo Tongues. So let's kill some Flamingos. That was a waste of money. I've never bought one of these loot boxes before. Now I regret it greatly. That was stupid. I just spent a shitload of money on that. It's not even better than what I've got. It's long. It's almost as big as my dick. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. I'll use that for the rest of this video though. Just see how it goes. Try some something new. Um. So, Flamingo Tongues and Heron Feathers. Let's check out what's here. We gotta search for flamingos, right? They're usually out near, near water. <clears throat> Obviously not this far out, but... There's a fucking temple here. Sunken Temple of Ramses. Jesus Christ. Woo! Look at that. There's a lot of loot down here. Level up too! Look at that guys. Beautiful. Flamingos! Get it center! <clears throat> there we go, I've got one flamingo tongue. Got it. Okay, I've got the flamingo tongues. But there's also crocodiles! Oh shit. Oh shit. That's it, I'm using my stick. Ah, fuck off. Fuck you. I'll fucking beat you to death with my stick. Fucking poke you to death. Fucking take that. Fucking poke, motherfucker. Fucking poke. Fucking get out of here. Eat my dick. Whew. I think I've established that this is a terrible weapon. And I never want to use this again. So let's, let's fi fix this. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Cool. So pretty much I've just got to look out for some sort of bird that isn't a flamingo and isn't a vulture and try to shoot it. I guess. I guess that's all. Got him. I think those are the... Fucking they're the ones. Oh, okay. I will take a few feathers for Tamhotep's ritual. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. Okay, so we've done it. Good job, guys. Fucking finally. I was just sitting there trying to think of where should I go to hunt him and... They're right here. found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Oh my god. Guard me and my maid until it is done. There may be dangers on the road as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gladly. 
Then sure. let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. This is so fucking stupid. Okay. Oh, this is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel up the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Yep. Pretty much just shut the fuck up. Okay. So, got some enemies. You guys are fucked. We good? I think we're good now. This may not be Memphis exactly, but I didn't know this mission would take me out of we Memphis. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Why do I get on all fours every time I get off the fucking horse? Hey bro, just put your two feet on the ground. Oh, look at that. It's already pre-set up. Of course it is. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me, for I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Oh, Bayek, you bloody sweetheart. Alright, let's do another side mission here in Memphis before we wrap this one up. One more mission. Hopefully it's not as mundane as hunting birds. I've got him. I got him. Uh, what did you, what did you just say, boy? The worse it will go between us. Fucking get back here, you little shit. <laughs> Don't. This fucking kid's talking shit. Child so small. Run so fast. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got him. Fuck off. So now you're cheering for me? You're just talking shit about me. I knew you could do it. What? What are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? 
did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. <laughs> How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I like this kid. I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. <laughs> I like this kid a lot. He's sick. And good. And fox. Um, okay. So. <clears throat> gonna help this kid out. With his mate? What's up, man? I wasn't really listening. I was just admiring how fucking hilarious that kid is. Okay, so... We've got a broken boat here. Uh, no shit. we got a Sherlock Holmes over here. Eh, eh. Sounds like sabotage to me. So we got in this investigation zone. Got a suspect to talk to? What is this guy now? Keep your distance. Or I'll break your face. Um uh excuse me? Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? <clears throat> I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. An oil seller. You may have seen Kawit. Back off, I tell you. I despise There must be another way to make him talk. Do I beat him up? Is that what it's like? They kept the children caged. He's telling me to back off. Talk, bitch. Well, that's not working. Okay, never mind. That's not. That's not it. Okay, never mind. My bad. My bad. I misread the signs here. I will tell you about the girl. Just do not break anything else. Should set on fire, and then you'd be dead. Back off, I tell you. I despise. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man. What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, the ruffians were destroying my stock. May the lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. Fair enough. This guy's actually had been a bit hard done by. Kawit stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant and hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Kawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings. Good job, Bayek. Alrighty then, let's go to the owner of the ship and beat the fuck out of him. Or kill him. Probably kill him. That's what we tend to do usually. Well, that didn't work at all. That's okay. See ya. You're on fire, bro. But so am I, so that doesn't work out too well for me. Okay. Need to talk to that child. Now we're free from that. 
Okay, where's that kid at? Oh, there you are. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hathor. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. Alrighty then. <clears throat> okay, so the bandits are taken to some lady's house? Someone's about to die, I can feel that. No, not that house. Not this door either. Hmm. This house here? It's a nice fucking house. Kaya's letter. We're expecting a shipment to Alexandria where 20 bags of grain. Okay. Oh shit. He can't see me behind this pole. Never mind, he can. Okay. There it is. Stairs down here seem like the way. Over here. Open this. Jesus Christ. Keep to yourself. Then go get it from one of those sunstruck cows of bandits. I said. Alrighty then. Where's the key at? Fuck. Is it one of those? I think it's one of the ones I've already killed. Uh, Ar Arch oh no, it's not. Well, he's dead now. So we're good. Thank you. Okay. I keep getting real freaked out, that fucking Phylax guy. Phylax will fucking come up here and kill, kill me. No, young Ifri did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matia home. Go. He's a smart kid. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. If you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Neff. Okay then. <laughs> I've completed that quest. And now she wants my help to kill the bitch. You know what? I might just leave her there, though. Um, I might just let her have that one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for this free roam episode here in Assassin's Creed Origins in Memphis. I'll be back very soon for more of this fun, exciting Origins content. And I'll see you very soon for more. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you next time with more Assassin's Creed Origins.